Welcome to this short presentation on Giving Your Past a Future, an introduction to the Family Archive platform, weare.xyz. Our biggest challenge as family historians is how to get sustained interest from members of our family and how best to pass on what we know to future generations, in particular the ones that will take the same level of interest as we do. We think we've come up with the solution, or at least a part of it, and that is a living archive at the heart of the family. It's personalized to each family member, and it has broader appeal than just family history. It contains ancestral history that we are the experts in beyond living memory, and it contains nostalgic history, your parents, your grandparents, your childhood, and it contains everyone's future past. It is a place to record memories as you are making them. I'm going to go into a demo, and we're going to look at those facets. I'm going to start with capturing beyond living memory, that's ancestral history, and then I'm going to move on to looking at nostalgia and our future past. Okay, so here we are in my family's archive. You'll see the main family tree, and I started this archive by simply uploading my GEDCOM. Uh, and it's automatically laid out a structure for me. This is the home level where all content is aggregated. Uh, I have a menu up here, families, and that allows me to get into sections for each family, all automatically calculated from the GEDCOM. So let's, if I go to the Davies family, here we are. It's automatically calculated how I relate to the Davies family. And I have these sections I have where I can write an overview. So I've written an overview of the Davies family, where we're from, beautiful part of the world, Shropshire and Montgomeryshire, the first uh, ancestor that I can find, William Davies and where he lived. And then this beautiful little subtree that what is a tool that we are able to create on the platform. And my great grandparents, the first ones we can see where they lived, so on and so forth. Uh, we have the tree that we saw. We have uh, all the articles, research articles that have been written about the Davies uh, in a curated order. We have documents relating to the Davises. That's my, my dad hitching around Europe in 1954, war, after the war, uh, with lots of rubble that's still around the place. We have media, which is broken into albums, uh, as well as just general media. Um, and then we have occasions. Lots of occasions, so this, it could be holidays is a good one. We've got my parents' wedding down here. Artifacts, lots of lovely artifacts. That's my dad's tigger. It sits in Stapleford here, which is where they live now. And look, here's a little Tigger in, in the, probably about 1939. Um, here's Tigger today, and here's Tigger with my dad now. So it's a lovely artifact that we've captured. Um, and if I just go back, we go, then we have places. This is another section. So these are all the places to do with the Davies family. Uh, and they're on this map here. And I can, let's go and have a look. Here's a little Shelford, for example. Uh, and I could do a little 3B, 3D getting closer. We can go and have a look at the next place. A place called Chasewood in Weybridge. And then we move on to the next place. A place called Hemingford, Derbyshire. I don't have to do 3D. I can move it to 2D. Let's come out and have a look. Let's come out a bit further. I can move on to the next place over in Shropshire. Let's just get north back to north. Uh, let's just come out about here. I have a list of all the places. Quiet right, Hills Hills is where my grandparents lived when we were kids growing up. So this, this is a places section. Uh, and, and all for the Davies level, uh, sort of the Davies family at this point. Uh, so I got there uh, using this menu of surnames, so paternal on the left, maternal on the right, all calculated from the, the GEDCOM. Now, um, I'm going to start going to those sort of categories of memory. So let's go and have a look at some ancestral memories. And I'm going to just navigate around, and I'm going to go to my grandmother here in the Poole family. Uh, let's have a look at the Poole family here. I know a lot about the Poole family. You can see there's lots of people because if we look in the artifacts. My grandmother always used to show me when I was a little this amazing pocketbook from 1833. So I'm opening, opening it up as a document here. We have a fabulous document feature. And you'll see it says 1833. It's actually a little ledger book. But if you go through it, basically my great, great, great uncle, I think, and a few people after him recorded his family history notes in it. And you'll see here he has a record of Treff Nanny Farm after great grandfather's death. 
his widow kept up to the site for eldest son Geoffrey for marrying against wishes and sold off the land. She basically left it all in ruins for Geoffrey to inherit my four times great grandfather. Uh, but just exquisite notes. But he's gone into a church here in 1836 and written down every record he can of an ancestor of a ancestor of his. Never mind mine. Um, so I'm very grateful to him. Now, what I'm going to do, that's something obviously from, from ancestral history. Um, if we go back to the pools, I wanted to find, one of the first things I wanted to do was find that place, Treff Nanny Bank. Treff Nanny Farms, he refers to it. And here are places relating to the pool family. You'll see there, Treff Nanny Bank, if I look at it on the map. It is that place there. So I'm going to open it from the map. Here we are, Treff Nanny Bank. I thought it would be on a bleak Welsh mountainside, but that's actually sandwiched between the Ver River Vernery and the w River Severn. Uh, that's my mother. We went and had a good look at it a while back. Uh, I sent Kevin the drone up to have a look at the landscape. Oops, sorry, didn't want to do that. Let's play. And I'll just scoot him along, press him forward. Sent Kevin up to go and have a look around. This is the chapel at the end of the lane where all the all the my four times great grandfather and various people are buried. I'm just fast forwarding uh, through the video and we fly over Treff Nanny. I'll come out of that because we've only got 10 minutes um so moving on i've made another one of those trees to show how four times great grandfather and his father and mother who tried to ruin his land how they relate to my grandmother here's the chapel where they're buried my father me and my son standing over four times great grandfather so that's firmly beyond living memory i think you'll agree so let's now turn to nostalgia so I'm going to go back to the home level, and I think I'm going to pick places again. Places, and I'm going to choose for our little tour around nostalgia, the Folly Farm. The Folly Farm in Shropshire. Just open the map and zoom out a bit, you can see where it is. There we are. That's where the Folly Farm is in South Shropshire. Um, oops, sorry, a bit of a back instead of a cross. Uh, the Folly Farm in South Shropshire is where great, great, grandfather set up farm and his son great grandfather set up farm and my that my, my father and all his cousins used to go there for some holidays and loved it in fact his one of his cousins was practically brought up there um cousin anthony and he i spoke to him and he came in and he labeled all the field names because he could remember them as a childhood and my father gave his recollections here's where with his grandfather where they poisoned a fox with strychnine and threw it in the coal in the fire of a steam roller um, his cousin Veronica, her memories, and this is his cousin Ant here. He ha he had loads of memories. He used to catch moles up to twenty four dead each day. He dispatched a Horace friend and co in Wisbeach to make into into glove linings, I think. Uh, and here's more pictures from around the farm. These 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 things here are actually World War Two um, ammo dumps because they distributed the ammo in the war, and so on and so on. That's my uncle, and he had a memory as well. And there is the great grandfather standing proudly at the end of the long wind nearby so that's nostalgia there's plenty more nostalgia on the platform i looked at occasions i could go and look at the, my parents wedding there you are in the 60s some good nostalgia captured there but let's now bring it right up to date and well actually let's look at some, some nostalgia of my own which starts to move into um the the future past capture so i I have enjoyed on and off over my life scuba diving. And um, I started in 1997. And in here, I've created a, an area for me to record everything to do with scuba diving. I have my dive log. Go back to 1997. There it is. I can open it up. I can look at all the escapades I had diving. Um, but more excitingly, perhaps, I have. Um, We'll put it all on the map so i can start with where, where i first went diving when i went out for a wedding of a friend in 1997 um in, in off cairns in the sunday islands uh, we were on this three-day livable boat and then we went down to uh, uh, sorry we were up at, uh, on the great barrier reef and then we went down to the Whit sunday islands and then we the next time i went diving many years later was uh in belize uh actually i got i got engaged in Hawaii at the bottom of the blue hole in fact, this is this is the uh the blue hole here uh, in fact let's open up the blue hole 
Uh, that's me and my wife down the blue hole where I mailed a proposal to her that she didn't really understand. It's a phenomenal area. Um, and the, the reason I, I brought dive, sort of diving into this uh, in terms of that being nostalgia and then bringing it up to date is that it also covers um, our summer holiday. So we went on holiday this summer with the kids and we went diving in, in the Maldives. So it's come full circle. Um, and if we have a look in, uh, let's have a look in uh, occasions, here we are. This is a full record of our holiday as a family in the, in the Maldives. Um, really was a fabulous case this summer. So you can see I've now caught, and this was a real celebration. The kids have finished all their exams, A levels and O, uh, o levels uh, to date me. And we went off on this adventure. So you can see how I've got the past and the and the future past all in the same area. And really that is what gives the most chance of everything in, of that I know about family history getting passed on to the future. And if I just come back, to, come out of this and come to presentation, the thing I want to stress is that it's so important to build a record of yourself. We're generally a little bit disappointed with the level of interest that our relatives have in all the family history research that we've done. But one thing for sure is that those around us and those that come after us, as we start to decline, the first thing they're going to be interested in is ourselves. They're going to be interested in you. And if they can find a good record and an informative record of your life, that can be then the gateway into the rest of their family history. The ones that have an interest, the ones that get a bit more curious to click the next level up in the tree, find out about their grandparents maybe, and then where that goes. So I cannot stress enough but really one's family archive is not just about beyond living memory. And if it's about today and tomorrow and the day after that, it's also a place that relatives can find useful, even if they're not that interested in the rest of the stuff from beyond the mist of time. And in that way, you establish your archive at the heart of your family. Well, thank you very much for listening. If you'd like to take a look, please go to our website, weare.xyz. We've got YouTube videos here and we have a, a newsletter, which would be great if you signed up for. And we have a really nice community um, building on Facebook where people submit what they're doing. And we have monthly tasks, challenges. Uh, we share all sorts of things. And if you would like to, here's, here's a promo code uh, to celebrate the wonderful event all about that place.